Piers Morgan cleared and wants job back after Meghan Markle remarks. United Kingdom's media watchdog, Ofcom, has cleared Piers Morgan of any violation over his controversial remarks about Meghan. Duchess of Sussex's interview with Oprah Winfrey, and Piers did not miss the opportunity to speak out. To find out the entire scoop of this messy incident, from beginning to end, don't forget to watch today's video to the very end. Background Harry and Meghan's Opera Interview Prince Harry and Meghan finally revealed details about what necessitated their departure from the royal family and how they're adjusting to their new life in the U.S. In a blockbuster interview with Oprah Winfrey Sunday, March 7, the wide-ranging interview covered everything from Harry and Meghan's initial courtship to their difficulties with the firm, how Markle referred to the royal family, to the moment they knew it was time for them to break out on their own. I wasn't planning on saying anything shocking. Markle half just to do opera. I'm just telling you what happened. While the Times of London also conveniently published a report last week that a former royal aide to Meghan filed a complaint with the palace in October 2018, accusing her of bullying her staff. A spokesperson for Harry and Meghan called the allegations an attack on Markle, a former American actress who has been the target of bullying herself by people within Buckingham Palace. Allow us to summarize the explosive revelations that we took away from this interview. The fact became open that Harry and Meghan secretly got married before the actual royal wedding. They also clarified that contrary to tabloid reports, there is no bad blood between the couple and Queen Elizabeth II, and that Harry and Meghan get along with the Queen just fine. Moving further deeper and darker, Meghan even went on to confess that she once contemplated suicide. I left the house twice in four months, she told Oprah, adding that palace officials actively told her to stay out of the public eye. So, while it seemed like she was living an idyllic fairy tale, in reality, she said, I couldn't feel lonelier. Further, another shocking revelation that came about was the alleged fact that certain members of the royal family questioned Archie their son's skin color before he was even born, which hints to problems of racism within the palace. And last but not the least, a lot of light was also shed on Prince Harry having felt somewhat trapped in the UK. Interview Reaction and Morgan's Role the royal family responded to the forementioned allegations by calling them concerning but said the issues would be addressed by the family privately. Morgan, however, appeared on Good Morning Britain on Monday, calling Meghan's comments lies. I'm sorry, I don't believe a word she says, he said. I wouldn't believe her if she read me a weather report. Both viewers and Morgan's own co-hosts condemned his actions, while Morgan clarified his comments the next morning, saying he believes suicide and mental health are important issues to be treated by professionals, he later stormed out of the studio after fellow presenter Alex Beresford called his treatment of Meghan diabolical. I understand that you don't like Meghan Markle. You've made that so clear a number of times on this program, Beresford said. I understand that you've got a personal relationship with Meghan Markle, or had one, and she cut you off. She's entitled to cut you off if she wants to. Has she said anything about you since she cut you off? I don't think she has, but yet you continue to trash her. Meghan Markle then filed a complaint to broadcaster ITV after former Good Morning Britain anchor Piers Morgan made disparaging comments about the Duchess of Sussex and her mental health. According to CNN, Markle contacted ITV out of concern that Morgan's remarks about her bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey would have a harmful effect on others. In response to Morgan having made the alleged hateful remarks about the Duchess and having accused her of lying about experiencing suicidal thoughts after marrying into the royal family, Morgan then quit his role as a Good Morning Britain host in March after he received criticism and was asked to apologize to Meghan by his show's management for saying he did not believe Markle had experienced suicidal thoughts. When asked what he would say to Markle, Morgan said he wants to ask the couple to sit down with him for another interview that matches the duration of the opera with Meghan and Harry primetime special so he can ask more difficult questions. If you hate the royal family that much, why do you keep your royal titles? Why do you keep calling yourselves the Duke and Duchess of Sussex? Why would you do that if it's just not to make millions and millions of dollars? And playing the victim as you do is frankly nauseating," he told the reporter. He also addressed reports that Markle wrote to ITV executives to lodge a complaint about his criticism of her and the message it could send to those suffering from mental health issues. Well, I didn't even know that Meghan Markle contacted my bosses at ITV. I didn't find that out until I left, he said. It was certainly a very interesting revelation from where I sit because, clearly, she was trying to put huge pressure on my bosses to take action against me. Morgan further added that his commentary was not racially motivated. 
It's not racist to disbelieve Meghan Markle. I don't give a damn about her skin color, he said. I do care about the veracity of what she was saying, the consequent Ofcom investigation and result. United Kingdom media regulator, Ofcom, received more than 7 to 5,000 complaints against Piers Morgan's commentary in which he accused the couple of damaging the royal family and seeking publicity on their own terms without accepting the responsibility and scrutiny that came with their position. He had also dubbed her Princess Pinocchio in a tweet. Most complaints concerned comments Morgan made on mental health and suicide, though. As a result, Morgan ended up leaving the British morning show, while Ofcom investigated the incident. Ofcom then cleared Piers Morgan's controversial comments about Prince Harry's interview with Meghan Markle and Oprah Winfrey. The UK's Office of Communications confirmed on Wednesday that it had ended its investigation into the former Good Morning Britain. Kovo's comments on the ITV program on March 8, sparking more than 40,000 complaints, Ofcom tweeted. Today we have completed our investigation into Piers Morgan's comments on Good Morning Britain in the wake of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's interview with Oprah Winfrey. Ofcom listed the status of the investigation as not in violation and briefly called it a finely balanced decision. Mr. Morgan's comments were potentially harmful and offensive to viewers, and we recognize the strong public reaction to them. But we also took full account of freedom of expression. Under our rules, broadcasters can include controversial opinions as part of legitimate debate in the public interest, and the strong challenge to Mr. Morgan from other contributors provided important context for viewers. Reads the decision summary of the 97-page report. Nevertheless, we have reminded ITV to care more about content discussing mental health and suicide in the future. ITV may consider the use of timely warnings or signposting of support services to ensure that to ensure that the audience is properly protected. Our decision is that overall the program contains sufficient challenge to provide adequate protection and context to its viewers, Ofcom added. So, to cut it short, Ofcom basically said that while it was concerned about Morgan's apparent disregard for the seriousness of anyone expressing suicidal thought, the extensive challenge offered by his colleagues throughout the show provided sufficient context. The broadcasting code allows for individuals to express strongly held and robustly argued views including those that are potentially harmful or highly offensive. Morgan celebrates victory. Morgan reacted to the decision on Wednesday, asking his nearly 8 million Twitter followers if it meant he would get his job back. I am delighted that Ofcom has upheld my right to disbelieve the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's incendiary claims for Oprah Winfrey, many of which have been proven untrue. This is a resounding victory for free speech and a fabulous necklace for Princess Pinocchio's. Do I get my job back? Morgan wrote. Public reaction. A significant number of viewers said Morgan's remarks dismissing Meghan's account of having suicidal thoughts could potentially cause people from seeking help out of fear they will not be taken seriously, according to the report. Many people described his comments as harmful rhetoric that made a mockery of suicide. Others complained that Morgan's belittling of Meghan's personal account of experiencing racism was highly offensive and incited hatred and racism. However, on the other side of the spectrum, more than 800 people also sent the office messages in support of Morgan, it said in its report. With that, we come to an end of today's video. What is your take on this entire episode? Do you find any weightage in Morgan's slightly unpopular opinion? Or do you firmly stand with Megan in her quest to normalize conversations centered around mental issues? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. As always, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to join in on our future ones to never miss out on more of such interesting content. Goodbye.